If you're heading to Munich, then Nymphenburg Palace and Park is a great thing that you can do. So Nymphenburg Palace is really easy to get to from most places in Munich using public transport. From the moment you arrive, you realise it's a really special place. It's a beautiful palace and beautiful gardens that you can explore. Yeah, you turn up and you can see the water, the swans and the palace behind it. Nymphenburg Palace. Um, and it looks really, really beautiful. There's a beautiful lake in front of it and park area. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take you in and give you a look around, but um, it's looking pretty good from the outside, so mm -hmm. see you in there. with your tickets here. You can either explore the gardens for free or you can buy a few different types of tickets. We recommend the combination ticket. So this basically gets you entry into most things in Nymphenburg Palace and the gardens. Yes, yeah, so what that means is that you can see inside the palace, you can see inside an area with carriages and sleighs. You can see all the park palaces as well. A couple of rooms that we loved inside the palace itself were the ballroom as soon as you enter as well as the Gallery of Beauties and to be honest a lot of other rooms are quite nice as well. So one thing we really loved seeing was the carriages and sleeves. They were really stunning and elaborate. There was such a wide range of carriages and sleeves from across different royal reigns and it was really, really interesting to see. The palace gardens themselves are really beautiful and from the moment that you walk out the back it's all symmetrical and it links up to the central canal and just the, the park itself is beautiful. And unless you just want to relax in the park, I highly recommend seeing the park palaces as you walk around. So these are all included in your combination ticket. Some of our favourite park palaces were Amelienburg, which was stunning. It had a hall of mirrors inside. It was really, really beautiful. And another one that we loved was Badenburg, which had a stunning indoor bathing room. And just the location by the lake made it really, really beautiful. You can also check out the village and pump house. So all in all, we probably spent about three and a half hours between the palace, the sleigh and carriage room and all the different park palaces, which we thought was a sort of in the middle amount of time. You could easily get through it a lot quicker if you didn't do all the park palaces or if you didn't do the sleigh room and stuff like that. But you could also spend a lot longer if you wanted to bring some lunch with you or just spend longer in the park itself. So Nymphenburg Palace and Park was one of our favourite things to do in Munich. It really is worth the time. Some people skip it because it seems like it's further away from the main attraction. But it's really a 10 minute tram from the old town of Munich. It's really, really quick and easy to get to and it's definitely worthwhile. So we hope you enjoyed this quick video on Nymphenburg Palace and subscribe for more of our videos. Thank mm -hmm. you.